Alaska. I, Dalton Bonhart, vow to bring my father's M15 to school and kill seven people. And Falcon Warrior 920, who's that? Go ahead and turn around, put your hands on your back. He's under arrest currently for making a threat to the cause of mass shooting slash active terrorist. Cause a mass shooting? Yes. He made a statement, a threat, a written threat to plan to carry out a mass shooting. But he's just a little kid playing a video game. And all that's these kids so keep getting arrested. And that's why the FBI and the local law enforcement are spending so much time. Because how do we know he's not going to be a kid from Parkland? He's not going to be the next kid, the kid that shot up Sandy Hook. We don't know that. So when you withdraw the attention to you by making these statements as they may be jokes, uh -huh. I mean, I wouldn't expect the kid to go, yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm going to go shoot everybody up. No, when they're caught, it's a joke. I didn't mean it. It's a joke. Uh -huh. That's when you're caught. But you, 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 these games, these kids say stuff like that all the time. It yes. is a joke to them. It's a game. Guess what? It's so guess what? Wrong. My, my time in law enforcement is spent doing uh -huh. is arresting these kids for making these statements all the time and for stopping acts too as well. Okay. So that's what our job is, is to make contact because these kids think it is a game or a joke, so they uh -huh. go ahead and make these comments. Uh -huh. But it's just a comment, so how is there an there's arrest? A, there's a Florida state statute that says you cannot make a written threat to cause a mass shooting act or kill or harm anybody else. Uh -huh. Legislature has chosen to well, do that. Well, he didn't that. cause or yes. act or yes. do anything, though. He made the statement, uh, too. It's a written statement. It's a written statement. It's a written threat to kill or to make a mass shooting or act of terror. So if I get on there and say, I pledge ISIS and I'm going to blow everybody up, that's the same charge as, you know what, man, I'm fed up. I'm going to go to school tomorrow and shoot up my school. So he'll be going to DJJ. What's that? The juvenile jail. He'll be placed in there for uh, several days. And we're going to go from there. The charge is a felony. Um, it might be a second or third degree. I have to double check because a written threat to harm somebody is a third degree felony. Second degree is when you involve a mass shooting at school. Or an he's a little boy. He didn't do anything wrong. Yes, he's 15. But he's still a little boy, and he's not one of the crazy people out there doing stuff. Okay, well, he did what he did. <laughs> yeah, but he shouldn't be treated as though he is a terrorist or something because he made a silly statement on a stupid video game. In the world where schools and kids are going to school, learning or getting shot and killed because people. I understand that, but at the same token, I mean, you have to look at these kids like kids too. I mean, he's not that person. Do you own a gun? I have a, a gun, yes. Okay, so he, did, he has hands and feet. You can grab your gun and go do something. He would never do anything like that anyway. We don't know. We don't know. If no, but goes. I know. And I know. Most parents have it, ma'am. We're going to take him. He's going to go to our operations center and we will go from there. But this is where we're at. This is the world we live in where people think it's funny to say, I'm going to go kill people at school. But he's not people. He's a child. Okay. There's a difference. He's playing a video game and he's a boy. And that's why he'll be charged as a juvenile. Of course, one of these days in age, this is what happens. Kids yeah. get on these things and they say this and parents say, it's not my son and then it might not be your son. But I know it's not my son. Somebody's son does and then this is the world we're in where kids are getting shot at school while they're trying to learn. And I understand that. I understand things. that. I understand that. Unfortunately, we can't take risks and we can't say, all right, we trust that this guy's not going to do it and then it happens and then we say, well, we have yeah, but I'm it. telling you right now, this is not my son. My son and I are like this, and it's just us. Husband, and it's not my son. He's a little boy still. It's a tough situation. A I, I, I know you're emotional. He's high, high intellect and, 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 and smart mouth. Well, that's and what you know what? Up. The grown-ups on these games go them into these things, which is what happens. You need a roof over your head, food, and water. He doesn't need the game. He's probably that's just, right, he doesn't. You should and take those away because these I adults that are influencing may have done that in the past, but guess what? They're not in trouble today. He is because he made those statements. We can't put on what they've said in the past to give him justification why he said what he said, ma'am. Yeah. He made the charge. He's going to face the consequences. Right? Let's go. Thank you. Oh. Ma'am, can I have your first, I need your last name.